Bimetric gravity or B-gravity refers to two different class of theories. The first class of theories relies on modified mathematical theories of gravity or gravitation in which two metric tensors are used instead of one. The second metric may be introduced at high energies, with the implication that the speed of light could be energy dependent, enabling models with a variable speed of light. If the two metrics are dynamical and interact, a first possibility implies two graviton modes, one massive and one massless. Such bimetric theories are then closely related to massive gravity. Several bimetric theories with massive gravitons exist, such as those attributed to Nathan Rosen (1909–1995) or Mordechai Milgram with modified Newtonian dynamics (MOND). More recently, developments in massive gravity have also led to new consistent theories of bimetric gravity. Though none has been shown to account for physical observations more accurately or more consistently than the theory of general relativity, Rosen's theory has been shown to be inconsistent with observations of the Hulse-Taylor binary pulsar. Some of these theories lead to cosmic acceleration at late times and are therefore alternatives to dark energy. On the contrary, the second class of bimetric gravity theories does not rely on massive gravitons and does not modify Newton's law, but instead describes the universe as a manifold having two coupled Riemannian metrics, where matter populating the two sectors interact through gravitation and anti-gravitation if the topology and the Newtonian approximation considered introduce negative matter mass and negative energy states in cosmology as an alternative to dark matter and dark energy. Some of these cosmological models also use a variable speed of light in the high energy density state of the radiation-dominated era of the universe, challenging the inflation hypothesis. The Janus cosmological model introduced by Jean-Pierre Petit belongs to this class. Topic: Rosen's B gravity, 1940. In general relativity (GR), it is assumed that the distance between two points in spacetime is given by the metric tensor. Einstein's field equation is then used to calculate the form of the metric based on the distribution of energy and momentum. Rosen 1940 has proposed that at each point of space-time, there is a Euclidean metric tensor gamma i j displaystyle gamma underscore i j. In addition to the Riemannian metric tensor g i j displaystyle g underscore i j. Thus at each point of space-time there are two metrics 1 d s 2 equals g i j d x i d x j Display style one tilde 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 d s carrot two equals g underscore i j d x carrot i d x carrot j two d sigma two equals gamma i j d x i d x J Displaystyle two tilde 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 D sigma carrot two equals gamma underscore I J DX carrot I DX carrot J The first metric tensor G I J Displaystyle G underscore I J describes the geometry of space time and thus the gravitational field. The second metric tensor gamma i j display style gamma underscore i j refers to the flat space time and describes the inertial forces. The Christoffel symbols formed from g i j display style g underscore i j 
and gamma i j display style gamma underscore i j are denoted by j k i display style underscore j k caret i and gamma j k i display style gamma underscore j k caret i respectively since the difference of two connections is a tensor one can define the tensor field delta j k i display style delta underscore j k caret i given by delta j k i equals j k i minus gamma j k i 1 display style delta underscore j k caret i equals underscore j k caret i gamma underscore j k caret i q quad 1 Two kinds of covariant differentiation then arise. G display style G differentiation based on G I J display style G underscore I J denoted by a semicolon and covariant differentiation based on gamma I J display style gamma underscore IJ denoted by a slash ordinary partial derivatives are represented by a comma let R I J K H display style R underscore IJ K carrot H and P I J K H display style p underscore i j k caret h be the Riemann curvature tensors calculated from g i j display style g underscore i j and gamma i j display style gamma underscore i j respectively in the above approach the curvature tensor p i j k h display style p underscore i j k caret h is zero since gamma i j display style gamma underscore i j is the flat space-time metric. A straightforward calculation yields the Riemann curvature tensor R I J K H equals P I J K H minus delta I J K H plus Delta I K J H plus Delta M J H Delta I K M minus Delta M K H Delta I J M equals minus Delta I J K H plus Delta I K J H plus 
delta m j h delta i k m minus delta m k h delta i j m Display style R underscore I J K carrot H equals P underscore I J K carrot H delta underscore I J K carrot H plus delta underscore ik J carrot H plus delta underscore M J carrot H delta underscore ik carrot M delta underscore M K carrot H delta underscore I J carrot M equals delta underscore I J K carrot H plus delta underscore ik J Carrot H plus delta underscore MJ carrot H delta underscore ik carrot M delta underscore MK carrot H delta underscore IJ carrot M Each term on right hand side is a tensor. It is seen that from GR one can go to the new formulation just by replacing by delta display style delta an ordinary differentiation by covariant gamma display style gamma differentiation minus g display style sqrt g by g gamma display style sqrt tfrac g gamma integration measure D four x display style D carrot four x by minus gamma D four x display style sqrt gamma D carrot four x where G equals det G I J gamma equals D E T gamma I J display style G equals debt G underscore I J gamma equals debt gamma underscore I J and D four X equals D X one D X two D X three D X four Display style D carrot four x equals DX carrot one DX carrot two DX carrot three DX carrot four Having once introduced gamma i j display style gamma underscore i j into the theory, one has a great number of new tensors and scalars at one's disposal. One can set up other field equations other than Einstein's. It is possible that some of these will be more satisfactory for the description of nature. The geodesic equation in bimetric relativity BR takes the form d 2 x i d s 2 plus gamma j k i d x j d S D X K D S plus Delta J K I D X J D S D X K D S equals zero two 
Display style frac D carrot two x carrot I D S carrot two plus gamma underscore J K carrot I frac D x carrot J D S frac D x carrot K D S plus delta underscore J K carrot I frac D x carrot J D S frac D x carrot K D S equals zero Q quad two It is seen from equations one and two that Gamma Display style gamma can be regarded as describing the inertial field because it vanishes by a suitable coordinate transformation. The quantity delta display style delta being a tensor is independent of any coordinate system and hence may be regarded as describing the permanent gravitational field. Rosen 1973 has found BR satisfying the covariance and equivalence principle. In 1966, Rosen showed that the introduction of the space metric into the framework of general relativity not only enables one to get the energy momentum density tensor of the gravitational field, but also enables one to obtain this tensor from a variational principle. The field equations of BR derived from the variational principle are K J I equals N J I minus one two delta J I N equals minus eight pi kappa T J I three display style k underscore j carrot i equals n underscore j carrot i frac one two delta underscore j carrot i n equals minus eight pi kappa t underscore j carrot i q quad three where n j i equals one Two gamma alpha beta g h i g h j alpha beta Display style n underscore j carrot i equals frac one two gamma carrot alpha beta g carrot high g underscore h j alpha underscore beta or n j i equals one two gamma alpha beta g H I G H J alpha beta minus G H I G M J gamma H alpha M beta Minus gamma alpha beta gamma j alpha i beta plus gamma lambda beta i g h lambda g h J alpha minus G H lambda G M J gamma H alpha M minus gamma J alpha lambda Minus gamma j beta lambda g h i 
G H lambda alpha minus G H I G M lambda gamma H alpha M minus gamma Lambda alpha I plus gamma alpha beta lambda G H I G H J lambda minus G H I G M J gamma H lambda M minus gamma J lambda I display style begin aligned N underscore J carrot I and equals frac one two gamma carrot alpha beta left left G carrot high G underscore H J alpha right underscore beta left G carrot high G underscore M J gamma underscore H alpha Carrot M right underscore beta gamma carrot alpha beta left gamma underscore J alpha carrot I right underscore beta plus gamma underscore lambda beta carrot I left G carrot H lambda G underscore H J alpha G carrot H lambda G underscore M J gamma underscore H alpha carrot M gamma underscore J alpha carrot lambda right right and Q quad gamma underscore J beta Carrot lambda left G carrot high G underscore H lambda alpha G carrot high G underscore M lambda gamma underscore H alpha carrot M gamma underscore lambda alpha carrot I right plus gamma underscore alpha beta carrot lambda left Left G carrot high G underscore H J Lambda G carrot high G underscore M J Gamma underscore H Lambda carrot M Gamma underscore J Lambda carrot I right right end aligned N equals G I J N I J Kappa equals G gamma display style n equals g caret i j n underscore i j q quad kappa equals sqrt frac g gamma and t j i display style t underscore j caret i is the energy momentum tensor. The variational principle also leads to the relation T J I I equals zero. Display style T underscore J I carrot I equals zero. Hence from three K J I I equals Zero. Display style k underscore j i caret i equals zero, which implies that in a BR, a test particle in a gravitational field moves on a geodesic with respect to g i j. Display style g underscore i j. It is found that the BR and GR theories differ in the following cases. Propagation of electromagnetic waves The external field of a high-density star The behavior of intense gravitational waves propagating through a strong static gravitational field, the predictions of gravitational radiation in Rosen's theory have been shown to be in conflict with observations of the Hulse-Taylor binary pulsar. Janus cosmological model From 1977, Petty starts to build an atypical bimetric theory of gravity called the Janus cosmological model in reference to the two-faced god who "...looks simultaneously to the future and to the past." The bimetric cosmological model Janus JCM, aka multi-sheeted model or theory of twins universes is a cosmological model representing the known universe as the mirror of a «shadow universe», forming two sides or sheets that interact only by gravitation. This enantiomorphic model was first introduced by Andrei Sakharov and then extended by Jean-Pierre Petit. 
It is currently more complete than the standard lambda CDM model, in terms of its ability to explain the observed phenomena, and without using free parameters. JCM is not a theory of everything. The Janus cosmological model is built upon Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, Andrei Sakharov's work in cosmology, and Jean-Marie Sauriai's work in symplectic geometry. The Janus model challenges many of the assumptions of the standard model, such as the absolute constancy of the speed of light or the existence of dark matter and dark energy in the observable universe for which it proposes alternatives. It is based on the Poincaré group, an extension of general relativity and quantum mechanics. Since it challenges many of the foundations of current theoretical physics through the existence of negative masses and energies and the current standard cosmological model, the Janus model is little studied by other cosmologists. Although it has been the subject of articles in peer reviewed scientific journals, the Janus cosmological model describes the universe as a Riemannian manifold with two different metrics that handle positive and negative masses in general relativity with no runaway paradox. In very good agreement with observational data. Petty produces many science comics and videos to popularize the various aspects of Janus' cosmological model. The theory originated in 1977 from French physicist Jean Pierre Petty, first as a non relativistic model Newtonian dynamics of two enantiomorphic universes with opposite arrows of time, the twin universe theory. He learnt about Andrei Sakharov's work in this field in 1984 when his book, Scientific Works, was published. In 1988 Petty was the first author to introduce a variable speed of light VSL in cosmology, as a joint variation of all physical constants following a universal gauge relationship, letting the laws of physics invariant during the radiative era. This solution challenges the inflation hypothesis. As of 1994, both approaches were then merged into a VSL relativistic bimetric model of gravity. The Janus model would explain various observational facts that the standard model cannot answer, the gravitational interaction of positive and negative masses being an alternative candidate for the explanation of dark matter, dark energy, cosmic inflation and the accelerating expansion of the universe. Despite being peer-reviewed, this non-standard cosmological model has not triggered much interest in the scientific community throughout the years, except with mathematicians and geometers who seem more interested than cosmologists in its topological subtleties. However, in particle physics, the theory shares similarities with the mirror matter of hidden sectors addressing CP violation. In general relativity, later independent work about bimetric gravity with positive and negative masses lead to the same conclusions regarding the laws of gravitation. The Janus model has the same foundation as a model previously published by Andrei Sakharov ten years before. In 1967, Andrei Sakharov addressed the baryon asymmetry of the universe considering for the first time events in CPT symmetry occurring before the Big Bang i.e. with T. Andrei Sakharov was the first scientist to introduce twin universes he called «sheets». He achieved a complete CPT symmetry since the second sheet is populated by invisible shadow matter which is antimatter C symmetry because of an opposite CP violation there and the two sheets are mirror of each other both in space P symmetry and time T symmetry through the same initial gravitational singularity He continued this idea for 20 years Ignoring the prior existence of this work translated in a book only 15 years after its Russian publication, Petty publishes his first paper about two enantiomorphic universes with opposite arrows of time in 1977. Unlike Sakharov, he makes the two parallel universes interacting through gravity straightforward. In this first non-relativistic Newtonian dynamics model, galaxies are embedded in repellent invisible negative mass, so they can be modeled as an exact solution of two Vlasov equations, coupled by Poisson's equation. In 1994, the model is developed as a bimetric description of the universe, however this bimetry is not similar to independent work done in the field of classical bimetric gravity where the second metric refers to gravitons with nonzero mass. 
In the Janus model, the B gravity is an extension of general relativity describing the universe as a Riemannian manifold associated to two conjugated metrics generating their own geodesics, solutions of two coupled Einstein field equations R mu nu plus minus 1 2 R plus G mu nu plus equals chi t mu nu plus plus g minus g plus t mu nu minus Display style R underscore mu new carrot plus T F R A C one two R carrot plus G underscore mu new carrot plus equals G left T underscore mu new carrot plus plus S Q R T frac G carrot G carrot plus T underscore mu new carrot right R mu new minus minus one two R minus G mu nu minus equals minus chi G plus G minus T mu nu plus plus T mu nu minus Display style R underscore mu new carrot T F R A C one two R carrot G underscore mu new carrot equals G left S Q R T frac G carrot plus G carrot T underscore mu new carrot plus plus T underscore mu new carrot right Petty's system of two coupled field equations reduces to Einstein's field equations in the case of a portion of spacetime where positive mass matter dominates and no negative mass is present, like in the solar system. Similarly to this Einsteinian approximation, the Newtonian approximation allows to recover Newton's law of universal gravitation and formula for gravitational potentials from the field equations in the limit of weak fields and low velocities with respect to the speed of light. Petty's two coupled Einstein field equations do not need any cosmological constant λ as a free parameter. Topic: The Bimetric Universe According to Janus Model. The theory describes two parallel universes in CPT symmetry interacting through gravity, both originating from the same initial singularity. In Janus Model, four types of matter coexist: one positive mass matter, baryonic matter. Baryonic matter refers to all matter composed of elementary particles called baryons. In practice, this corresponds to protons, neutrons, their constituents bosons, quarks, to which leptons are implicitly added such as electrons and neutrinos and which compose atoms and molecules and all directly visible structures in the observable universe stars, galaxies, clusters of galaxies, etc. Two positive mass antimatter see symmetry with respect to the first type. This is the antimatter according to Dirac definition which is not very abundant compared to the first type. See symmetry reverses not only the sign of the electrical charge but also the other quantum charges chi including the baryonic number, but not the spin. Zeta symmetry is the translation into symplectic geometry of this C symmetry between matter and Dirac's antimatter. Zeta symmetry, in the five-dimensional evolution space used in the Janus model, causes symmetry C called Q symmetry by Petty in the space of the moment, together with positive energy photons. These first two types are the components of the universe known until now, it is the first sheet of the universe. 
3 the negative mass material cpt symmetry with respect to the first type with an antilinear and anti-unit operator t which is not very abundant with respect to the fourth type CPT symmetry simultaneously reverses quantum charges, parity, the spatial image seen in a mirror, and time. Four negative mass antimatter PT symmetry with respect to the first type, with a linear and unitary operator T. In symplectic geometry, Petty notes that this PT symmetry is also a zeta symmetry and a Q symmetry which automatically go together, so the quantum charges are also reversed. The fourth type, the so called Feynman antimatter, is the primordial antimatter. With negative energy photons, these last two types are the components of the second sheet of the universe. This antimatter of the shadow universe is concentrated in huge conglomerates, radiating in the infrared and very dark red, structured like huge spheroidal proto-stars, but whose cooling time exceeds the age of the universe. The thermal agitation rate of these gigantic proto-stars creates a centrifugal force so strong that it prevents them from contracting further to induce a fusion reaction. Therefore, this universe sheet contains no stars, no planets, no life, only anti-hydrogen and anti-helium from negative masses that appeared after the primordial radiative era. As positive mass matter emits positive energy photons traveling along null geodesics of the metric g mu nu plus Display style g underscore mu nu caret plus, and negative mass matter emits negative energy photons traveling along null geodesics of the metric g mu nu minus display style g underscore mu nu caret. The exotic matter cannot be detected with optical instruments, besides its gravitational interaction with normal matter. The Newtonian approximation of the system of two coupled field equations provides the following gravitational interactions Particles of same energy attract each other according to Newton's law positive mass attracts positive mass and negative mass attracts negative mass Particles of opposite energy repel each other according to anti Newton's law positive mass and negative mass repel each other those laws are different to the laws spelled out by Hermann Bondi and William Bonner, and solve the runaway paradox, that usually makes scientists think negative mass can not physically exist Due to topological considerations, matter populating each fold appears to the other as having an opposite mass and an opposite arrow of time, although the proper time remains positive for both species. Topic. Cosmology with variation of constants In 1988, Petty introduced the idea of the variation of the speed of light in cosmology, in conjunction with variations of all physical constants combined with changes in the scale factors of space and time, so that all the equations of physics and the relationships between these constants remain unchanged during the evolution of the universe. The Einstein field equations remain invariant thanks to adequate joint variations of C and G in the Einstein constant. The requirement of invariances of the Schrödinger and Maxwell equations provides the framework for the laws of joint variation of constants in gauge theory. The fine structure constant becomes an absolute constant. More recent work has restricted the variation of constants to the relativistic radiative era of the primordial universe, where space-time is identified with space entropy with a flat metric. <laughs> Geometrization of Janus model In 1995, Petty combines his bimetric model with his VSL theory into the first paper summarizing the twin universe's cosmology, the main hypothesis stating that negative energy particles exist and result from time reversal, that two particles of opposite mass repel each other, and that physical constants can vary, are in opposition with the standard models of particle physics and cosmology. 
In quantum field theory, the T operator acting on Hilbert spaces is complex, and can be either linear and unitary, or antilinear and antiunitary, but is arbitrarily chosen antilinear and antiunitary in order to prevent inversion of energy, as the vacuum state of the zero point energy must have the lowest possible ground state and can not have negative values. But when this axiom was formulated, the accelerating expansion of the universe, which implies a negative pressure, was not known yet. As a pressure is a volumetric energy density, Petty thinks this problem should be reconsidered. However, in group theory, the T operator is real and can reverse the energy. Dynamics of relativistic elementary particles is described by the Poincare group. Currently physics uses the restricted Poincaré group, with only forward in time orthochronous motions. As demonstrated by Jean-Marie Sauriai using the complete Poincaré group, including backward in time antichronous motions, arrow of time reversal equals mass inversion of a particle. In the 2000s, Petty integrates Sauriai's mathematical physics and fully geometries his model with group theory. The addition of dynamical group theory explains why time reversal goes with energy and mass inversion, a fundamental property of particles secreted by the complete Poincare group. In 2014 and 2015, he publishes a set of four papers detailing the most recent developments of the Janus model. The first paper produces an exact solution to the coupled field equations referring to the matter-dominated era which resolves the runaway paradox of negative mass and challenges dark energy to account for the accelerating expansion of the universe. In a second paper this is extended to two metrics with their own speed of light, followed by the Lagrangian derivation of the model. A fourth paper is devoted to the cancellation of the central singularity in the Schwarzschild solution, questioning the classical black hole model. A comparison of the Janus model in agreement with latest observational data has been published in 2018. The same year, the model also shows how negative energy states are compatible with quantum mechanics. A paper discussed the arbitrary decision of preventing negative energy states in quantum field theory, as such negative energy is compatible with the Dirac equation when considering a unitary time reversal operator, provided that one considers that negative energy goes with negative mass according to minus m equals minus e c two. Display style m equals e c caret two. So the Klein-Gordon probability density e m display style e per meter in relativistic quantum mechanics remains positive. The model finally considers the possibility of apparent faster than light interstellar travel with limited energy. The mechanism would involve an artificial version of the black hole natural inversion mass process. The transferred vehicle would cruise along geodesics of the metric g mu nu minus display style g underscore mu nu caret where the speed of light is greater and the distances shorter. The inverted particles of the ship and its passengers would have to appear at a relativistic speed in the new frame of reference through Lorentz contraction, in order for the energy to be conserved, with no acceleration. After mass inversion, a craft would go so fast that it could not slow down, but arriving at its destination, a new mass inversion would give back its former kinetic parameters, with no deceleration. Topic: The bridges between the sheets of the universe, black holes. In the classic model, when a neutron star exceeds the stability limit, neutrons that compose it break, and the neutron star collapses because of the excessive gravity due to its mass. The gravitational collapse leads to the black hole, whose center is described in the classic black hole model as a mathematical and physical singularity where the temperature, density and curvature of spacetime are infinite. In the Janus bimetric model, when a neutron star exceeds the stability limit, neutrons that compose it break, 
and then the star imaginatively pierces space-time forming a bridge connecting the two sheets of the universe. Part of the positive mass at the heart of the neutron star becomes negative during this process and is therefore found in the «shadow universe», where it is gravitationally repelled by the positive mass remaining on the other sheet. This process intrinsically lasts for a very short time, in the proper time of the neutron star, and it allows the neutron star to pass below the critical threshold of positive mass density. There is no longer any singularity. It can then continue to attract positive mass matter by gravitation until the next time the critical density threshold is reached, the cycle repeating itself. This gives the impression of a black hole that swallows matter all the time. Petty also explained using the Janus model the detailed phenomena that occur within a neutron star at the critical density threshold. Jean Pierre Petty provided a mathematical demonstration of the absence of singularity, which, according to the author, invalidates the black hole theory as it had been understood since 1916. There was an error in the interpretation of a demonstration of Schwarzschild by Hilbert, which remained unnoticed until its discovery in 1989 by Abrams, and which has not yet been taken into account in the classic black hole model. J. P. Petty, P. Midi, Questionable Black Hole, Geometrical Physics A. 11 and 12 2000. J. P. Petty, Black Holes Do Not Exist, preprint, April and June 2014 F. R. Interview with J. P. Petty in June, July 2014, Les Trousses Noirs and Existent Par, Parts 1 and 2 J. P. Petty, Schwarzschild 1916 Seminal Paper Revisited, A Virtual Singularity, Preprint, July 2016 These studies have been explained in detail in the following videos Janus 22-1, Black Hole vs Mass Inversion. Conferences 2017 Negative energy states, September 2017. Janus 22-2, FR geometry, la part du real et de l'imaginaire. Janus 22-3, Schwarzschild's forgotten solution. Janus 22-4, contestation in good standing of the black hole model. Janus 22-5, gravitational waves, fusion of neutron stars. Mass with inverted sign Janus 24, the black hole in the Janus cosmological model January 2018 on December 10, 2018, Abe Ashtakar, Javier Olmedo, and Parampreet Singh published a scientific paper in the field of the theory of loop gravity demonstrating the absence of central singularity within the black hole, without geometrically specifying the future of matter at this point while the Janus model proposes an explanation. Topic. Formation of large structures in the universe according to the Janus model Topic. Density fluctuations in the universe The peer review committee of the journal Progress on Physics validated a study by Petty that uses the Janus model to explain the origin of fluctuations in the cosmological background CMB. It was published in October 2018. Topic: <laughs> Formation and stability of galaxies and structures on a large scale. The Janus model would explain the shape and stability of spiral galaxies by using negative mass in interaction with the galaxy that would confine it and be repellent for the latter. In the first non-relativist Newtonian model developed by Petty, galaxies were buried in a halo of invisible negative masses that repel them, and they can be modeled as the exact solution of two Vlasov equations, coupled by the Poisson equation. In the current Janus model, the modeling of these negative masses is geometrized, moreover, the nature and origin of these negative masses are defined, the very large scale structures of the observable universe filament structures separated by large apparent voids, great repeller are explained by the gravitational repulsion between positive and negative masses. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Future of the bi-sheeted universe according to the Janus model. The cosmological scenario of the future of the bi-sheeted universe was developed in an article published in May 2008 and at several conferences. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Massive B gravity. Since 2010 there has been renewed interest in B-gravity after the development by Claudia de Rham, Gregory Gabadadze, and Andrew Tolley of a healthy theory of massive gravity. Massive gravity is a bimetric theory in the sense that non-trivial interaction terms for the metric g mu nu can only be written down with the help of a second metric, as the only non-derivative term that can be written using one metric is a cosmological constant. In the DRGT theory, a non-dynamical reference metric f mu nu display style f underscore mu nu is introduced, and the interaction terms are built out of the matrix square root of g. Minus one F display style G carrot minus one F in DRGT massive gravity, the reference metric must be specified by hand. One can give the reference metric an Einstein Hilbert term, in which case F mu nu display style F underscore mu nu is not chosen but instead evolves dynamically in response to g mu nu display style g underscore mu nu and possibly matter this massive b gravity was introduced by Fawad Hassan and Rachel Rosen as an extension of drgt massive gravity the DRGT theory is crucial to developing a theory with two dynamical metrics because general bimetric theories are plagued by the bolware desa ghost, a possible sixth polarization for a massive graviton. The DRGT potential is constructed specifically to render this ghost nondynamical, and as long as the kinetic term for the second metric is of the Einstein-Hilbert form, the resulting theory remains ghost-free. The action for the ghost-free massive B gravity is given by S equals minus M G two two D four X minus G R G minus M F two two D four X minus F R F plus M two M G two D four X Minus G N equals zero four beta N E N X plus D four X minus G L M G Phi I Display style S equals frac M underscore G carrot two two int D carrot four x SQRT G R G frac M underscore F carrot two two int D carrot four x SQRT F R F plus M carrot two M underscore G carrot two int D carrot four x SQRT G display style sum underscore N equals zero carrot four beta underscore N E underscore 
n mathbound x plus int d carrot four x sqrt g mathcal l underscore mathrm m g phi underscore i. As in standard general relativity, the metric g mu nu display style g underscore mu nu has an Einstein-Hilbert kinetic term proportional to the Ricci scalar r g display style r g and a minimal coupling to the matter Lagrangian l m display style mathcal l underscore mathrm m with phi i display style phi underscore i representing all of the matter fields such as those of the standard model an einstein hilbert term is also given for f mu nu display style f underscore mu nu each metric has its own Planck mass M G display style M underscore G and M F display style M underscore F. The interaction potential is the same as in DRGT massive gravity. The beta I Display style beta underscore i a dimensionless coupling constants and m display style m or specifically beta i one two m display style beta underscore i caret one half m is related to the mass of the massive graviton. This theory propagates seven degrees of freedom, corresponding to a massless graviton and a massive graviton, although the massive and massless states do not align with either of the metrics. The interaction potential is built out of the elementary symmetric polynomials E n displaystyle E underscore n are the eigenvalues of the matrices K equals I minus G minus one F display style math bound K equals math bound I S Q R T G carrot minus one F or X equals G minus one F Display style math bound x equals sqrt g caret minus one f parametrized by dimensionless coupling constants alpha i display style alpha underscore i or beta i display style beta underscore i respectively here g Minus one F display style sqrt g caret minus one F is the matrix square root of the matrix G minus one F display style g caret minus one F written in index notation x Display style math bound x is defined by the relation x mu alpha x alpha nu equals g mu alpha f nu alpha Display style x caret mu underscore alpha x caret alpha underscore nu equals g caret mu alpha f underscore nu alpha. The e n display style e underscore n can be written directly in terms of x display style math bound x as 
e zero x equals one e one x equals x e two x equals one two x two minus x two E three x equals one six x three minus three x x two plus two x three E four x equals dead x display style begin aligned E underscore zero math bound x and equals one E underscore one math bound x and equals math bound x E underscore two math bound x and equals frac one two left math bound x Carrot two math bound x carrot two right e underscore three math bound x and equals frac one six left math bound x carrot three minus three math bound x math bound x carrot two plus two math bound x carrot three right e underscore four math bound x and equals operator name debt math bound x end aligned where brackets indicate a trace x x mu mu display style Math bound x equivalent x caret mu underscore mu. It is the particular anti-symmetric combination of terms in each of the en display style e underscore n, which is responsible for rendering the bolware desert ghost non-dynamical. Topic. See also. Accelerating universe. Alternatives to general relativity DGP model Scalar tensor theory